Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and liking these sessions. In today's video, Nazure, I'm here to give you an overview of uh, what are the monitoring agent, what it can do for you, and uh, under what scenarios you can utilize this. So I was talking to one of the customer, and uh, he was a bit confused about uh, different extensions, agent, uh, different services. Is there a cost associated with that? So I thought maybe I will take a session on this uh, and explain. So let's dive right into it. So when we talk about uh, monitoring your resources in Azure, it can be divided into two categories. It can be agents for Windows and for Linux. They're pretty much same, but they are for different operating system. Uh, for Windows, it can be there are three agents, what you call WAD, Windows Diagnostic Extension. Similar name for the Linux is Linux uh, Diagnostic uh, Extension. Short form of that one is LAD. Then you have a log analytics workspace agent. That is same here too. Dependency agent. And uh, there is one more agent on the Linux side, which is Telegraph agent. So under what scenario you'll use one or the other, I uh, just want to point out here is that uh, some of these, uh, they have similar functionality. So one agent might do the same job which the other agent do, but uh, I'll try to break it down. When we talk about uh, Windows Diagnostic Agent, it is used for Azure resources only such as uh, VMs and some of the other workloads, scale sets and all those kind of stuff. Uh, this can send data to storage account. Uh, you can also send it to Azure Monitor metrics and even to event hubs. And then you can use uh, uh, tools such as uh, Storage Explorer or Metric Explorer in order to uh, work with that data. But it is only for Azure resources. When we talk about log analytic workspace, it's a bit uh, flexible. This you can use for Azure resources, third-party cloud, such as uh, AWS, and even on-prem. So you get the flexibility in terms of uh, under what uh, uh, environment you can deploy this, and that's why log analytic workspace is a bit uh, popular, right? This allows you to send data to Azure Monitor. Azure Monitor logs. Now, if you ask me limitation, obviously uh, this can be termed as one of the limitations that you can send the data to some of the other repositories such as storage account or even to event hub, but uh, log analytic workspace will send the data to Azure monitor logs, that's one thing. So under both these uh, uh, agent scenario, if you want to collect the data, uh, monitoring data for your uh, guest operating system, you can use any one of them. But uh, specifically talking about log analytic workspace, this is used by some of the other services such as uh, uh, Sentinel, which is a SIM service. It's a native SIM service of uh, Microsoft Azure, one of the new product uh, you can utilize. You can also collect the data from Azure Security Center. So if you want to have uh, more control about the security perspective of your environment, and want to collect the data, you want to utilize the data, then I will say log analytic workspace is the answer for that one. 
And obviously you can use this uh, to collect the data from Azure VM uh, and uh, other Azure resources too. So that's uh, one important thing on the login into workspace. Now there's another one and the third one, which is dependency agent. This also can be used for both Azure resources as well as uh, third party cloud, such as AWS. And uh, you can also use this for on-prem. So basically what it will do is it will uh, help you to collect information about uh, what are the dependencies of uh, your environment. So things such as if you, uh, the best example I can give you is that if you're thinking of moving the data or moving your environment from on-prem to the cloud, uh, you want to make sure that uh, your environment has uh, connectivity into VM connectivity or into network connectivity. It will collect all that logs for you, all that information for you. So in case there is a dependency of server A with server B, you don't leave that behind, right? You want to move that at the same time. So it will give you all that information, compile that, and it will send the information to Azure Monitor Log. So that is what dependency agent will do. Now, Linux uh, diagnostic uh, extension do the same thing, which I explained you about WAD. The only thing is it, it is for uh, log analytic. Uh, it is for uh, Linux operating system. And same thing for log analytic workspace. It can collect the data from Linux machine, which is there in the cloud, on-prem, or even third-party logs. And same thing for the dependency agent. When it comes to telegraph agent, this can be, again, used for on-prem, Azure, or AWS, like some of the third-party clouds. And this will collect a performance counter for you and give you information on those uh, parameters. So Telegraph Agent is specifically designed for Linux machine. But these are some of the agent uh, which you will come across. And as I said, that some of the agents, they have uh, uh, similarity in terms of uh, uh, what information they collect, but uh, you want to use one or the other. Another thing is that from the cost perspective, uh, there is no specific cost for the agent, but uh, it the logs still needs to be ingested. So if it is being ingested into say a storage account or under the log analytic workspace, there'll be a cost associated for that, but nothing specifically for the agent in that sense. So with that, let me just uh, go to the Azure portal and just give you a taste of how it will look. So I'm going to open some of the resources on my Azure portal. So let's go to the virtual machines. I will expand one of the machine. And the first thing that you want to see is that by default, uh, Microsoft will give you information about uh, monitoring. So some of the CPU average, network, uh, disk by disk operation, it will give you that information by default for you, right? So that's something there. But uh, if I go under settings, if I go under extension, you'll see that I have two agents. I have Microsoft monitoring agent and dependency agent. So this is the agent I was talking about. Actually, one more thing. Log analytic workspace agent is also called Microsoft monitoring agent. So sometimes uh, people, they say, oh, we are deploying Microsoft monitoring agent. It's nothing but log analytic workspace agent. And that is what you see on the on the uh, on this portal right over here. So I have these two already installed on this one. Right. So that is what you'll see on the extension tab. Now, other thing is if I go under the scroll down, actually under the monitoring, if I go and expand diagnostic setting, so that's the WAD uh, extension, it is asking me to create a storage account. So as I said that, you can send these uh, logs to the storage account, or you can also connect this with the event hubs or even Microsoft monitor metrics. But you need to create a storage account. You can use the existing one, or you can go and click create new, and that is where the cost will come into play. Otherwise, as I said, that there's no specific cost for the agent, but uh, that is where he will come, and then you can get the information that is where it will be stored uh, your monitoring data of your guest operating system i'm not going to do that just wanted to show you so i'm going to close this if i go under insights after this 
you'll see that, uh, as I said, that I have installed a dependency agent uh, already on the machine. And that is how it will look, the service map. So basically, it will give you information about uh, what are the network dependencies of your machine. So I can get information about clients, what processes is running, what port it is connecting, which might be uh, good information in case you are trying to troubleshoot. And imagine if you're trying to maybe move the data from or maybe move the infra from uh, on-prem to the cloud, it will give you information about uh, what are the network dependencies or other kind of dependencies of your environment so that you don't leave anything else behind. So that's the information it's pulling from the service map. Uh, which is uh, using uh, dependency agent service map is one of the other service too, but uh, that is all interconnected. I can also go under the view uh, workbooks. I can also choose performance and can give you me information about the performance of uh, this machine like CPU utilization, available memory. Uh, these can be uh, useful information. So all that uh, analytics, I can get it from here just go back so that is what under the insights under monitoring i can also create alerts i have created a detailed video you can go and check that out if i go under the mon uh, metrics right now you don't see much of the data because uh, i have not uh, configured i have just uh, enabled the log analytic workspace actually i'm going to show you in a moment but uh, that is where you will come and uh, see uh, the metrics of your information based on uh, what metric you want to choose, whether it's CPU, the disk, the network, the storage. Uh, based on that, uh, you can get uh, good information about. You can also create charts. Uh, you can have this uh, information in 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 a, in a diagram, so it's pretty flexible. But uh, in order to enable the log analytic workspace, if I go under and just do a quick search, I have created one with the name loss ten. And uh, if I scroll down all the way under workspace data sources, I can connect this to, you see, virtual machine storage account, Azure Activity Log. I can pull that, all the information. And it also uh, talks to automation account and update management. And that is what, uh, when I said initially that log analytic workspace is flexible because uh, that is a building block on a lot of other services within Azure and it it uh, interconnect with them and uh, that is why you can connect all the data from and put this into the log analytic workspace now if i go into the virtual machine now these are different virtual machine if i i have if i go and expand my dc you will see that it is reporting to this log analytic workspace you can always connect and disconnect uh, but uh, right now it is uh, reporting to this log analytic workspace so and I have another machine which is also reporting to the log analytic workspace. Right, so that is where you will come uh, in order to connect and disconnect. And there is also service map, the one that I talked about, which uses dependency agent. So you can also get information from the uh, about that uh, from log analytic workspace. Uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, this workspace uses uh, KQL, also known as custom query language. So if you're familiar with that, uh, you can create your own custom queries and uh, it will let you generate uh, logs. You can, as I said, that uh, uh, very interactive. You can create it in a chart or in a pie chart to get all that information that you can use, utilize to troubleshoot. I've also created a video that you can go and check the link, how to connect or uh, link your workspace, maybe with the automation account or update management or to your virtual machine. So you can go and check that out. But these are the agents that uh, will come into play when we're talking about from the monitoring. So just to summarize under Windows, we have uh, WAD, which is Windows uh, Diagnostic Extension. We have Log Analytic Workspace. We have Dependency Agent. Linux has a uh, uh, Linux Diagnostic Extension, also known as LAD, Log Analytic Workspace for Linux machine dependency agent. And you have Telegraph Agent, which can be utilized for on-prem Azure or even third-party uh, cloud. So this was a quick overview on uh, what are the different uh, monitoring agents within Azure. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.